For instance, during Brigadier Balthasar, whom I knew well, was a past student of this college. He was one of those who took part in the military campaign. Similarly, there were students from here who took part in the LTT campaign. So they have had every part of society in this school. Now, it's a question of all of us getting together for us to go forward. And I think you can lead the way. I heard every type of music here. I mean, basically, I heard we had the, his lordship making the prayers here. We had the Hindu greetings. We heard some of the Singhala, Jayamangala Gata, everything was here. There's nothing that was missing. And to make it even better, the Bharatanatyam I've seen here better than what I've seen in some other girls' schools. <laughs> so you have cut across all barriers. And you are cut across, so if we cut across barriers, let us now get together. There are enough of divisions among us. We have fought among us. We have taken the country down to the bottom. We have fought in politics, we have taken it further down. We have gone through the worst experience where the country is broke, never happened during the war. We, have, we didn't have petrol, we didn't have food, you know how difficult it was to handle the COVID. It affected everyone, every Sri Lankan, whether you were the Sinhalese or a Tamil or a Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu or Christians, or an unbeliever. Everyone was affected. Now we have to get out of it. The government can prepare plans. We are discussing with the IMF how we get out, restructure our debt to get out of bankruptcy. But there are something we all have to do. We must go ahead as a united group. We have to go ahead. It's easier said than done. If you take to any, any community, ethnic or religious, they will have their problems. What they have suffered. But then also if you talk to any social group, to any group, farmers, fishermen, all of them will also have problem. Now, we have to learn to solve this. Firstly, the ethnic and the, uh, we must solve the ethnic and the religious issues so that we are all Sri Lankans. It was very demonstrated very clearly when the choir of St. Michael's sang Namo Namo Mata in Tamil. That's, that's, that's uh, this thing. We all say we are my children of one mother. There's no, there's no issue whether you sing it in Sinhalese or in Tamil. So we, we are taking those steps. When we go to university, we meet with people of other region races. We meet them here. Then how shall we get together to go ahead? So I'm going to talk to all the uh, leaders and we will resolve the ethnic issues and the religious issues. You can't be fighting on these small things. Let's resolve it. That is the first one. Secondly, I think I am committed to devolving more power to the provincial councils. We can leave aside police powers. That can be taken up later when you want to. <coughs> but a lot of powers have to be devolved. As I was talking with the Minister of Education, when I first was the Minister of Education and started devolution, there were 9,000 schools. I couldn't manage it. The management of 9,000 schools must be given to the provinces. We must look that the standards are maintained and discipline is maintained. Today I, we are talking, look at tourism. You can't have one tourist board doing this. The tourism of eastern provinces is so different from the uh, tourism of Western province. You must have provincial tourist boards. Look at agriculture. Look at health. So we hope the period of next year we'll see devolution of more powers to the area. So you all can take part 
in your local areas. So this, this is uh, another step. Firstly, discuss the political issues and move towards resolution. Secondly, let's look at devolution and slowly let's move forward. You can't go at high speed. Then we let us function. If there are human rights violations, we'll correct it within our country. No need to go outside. I don't believe in going outside, but I think we have to do it here in our country. Then we need not be responsible. We can't be answering other people. But let's ensure that all these standards are met and we go ahead. So when I do that, when I'm thinking, and when I plan to do it, I will take St. Michael's as an example, how you all can do it. So you all also can be an example of how national unity can be maintained. So I don't want to talk any more at length. Now you have done your celebrations. You have to go home and you have to get ready for Monday holiday, what you are going to do. <laughs> so <laughs> I wish St. Michael's all the best in its next 150 years. Thank you.